He's rigged a pulley system so he can eat sausage and work on his stupid drawings. I'm being creative? Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have some work to do. Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausages? Daddy, would you like some sausage? Sausages! Sausages! That is Tom Green in his 2001 movie, Freddy Got Fingered, but the comedian has changed a whole lot since then, and he brings his stand-up act to Rumors Comedy Club. Tonight, Fridays and Saturday shows are sold out, so if they want to see you, Tom, then it, they, they got to do it tonight. Absolutely, yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. Come on down to Rumors. We're going to have a show tonight. Come on down, get some tickets. Throw in uh, Breakfast to Television. Breakfast television at the show. Too. Throw that yeah, in. Yeah, we're, we're doing uh, shows Breakfast all weekend, five shows all weekend. Hey, uh, so... Many of us know you from lots of other things. Freddie yeah. Got Fingered. Yeah, uh, I remember you and a moose in a ditch uh, at yeah. one point of your career. Absolutely, yeah. Soccer field with yeah. the radio. Yeah, I hunted a dead moose uh, that was here in Manitoba, actually. A lot of people don't realize that. Eminem rapped about it. I just want to go on TV and let loose, but I can't. But it's cool for Tom Green to hump a dead moose. It's good, man. That was, the a, guy said. That was in uh, Manitoba, that moose. So, so we know you, we know it was that cool. Tom. Yeah, absolutely. And is, I, is that the stage Tom we get? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of uh, the silliness and uh, outrageousness that was in the Tom Green show or Freddie Got Fingered that's in the stand-up show. But, uh, you know, it's different. Of course, it's stand-up comedy. I'm talking about stuff. It's not uh, just, uh, it's, it's not as physical, not as much of a prop-driven, stunt-driven there's, thing. There's no dead moose on yeah, stage. Yeah, it's impossible. It's impossible. Uh, you can't bring a dead moose on stage. It's impossible. Because, you know, I'm traveling, and that's, it's obviously would be decomposing. Right. You uh, need a new moose in every... You can't bring that from city yeah. to city to city with you. Yeah. It would Air start Canada to wouldn't. smell. There would be, like... Wouldn't fit in your carry-on. Liquid I'm going to move on as, right now. Let's talk about when people um, started getting you. When did people go, okay, now I understand why this guy's so funny. Uh, it just happened immediately the second <laughs> I uh, popped out of my mother's... Uh, body Thank you. Uh, on the day I was born. Uh, I immediately was just sort of destined to know. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they ever have, actually. I'm not sure. No, things are going well, actually. I'm doing well. Thanks for ask, asking, actually. How are you doing, Tom? What are you, what, what's your newest people project? People started to get me uh, probably about last week, <laughs> actually. No, I don't know. It's going good. It's going real good. I've been touring, uh, doing stand-up pretty much full-time the last four years. I got a new comedy special. It's running on Showtime in, in the United States of America. For some reason, it's not airing in Canada yet. Uh, hopefully, it will at some point, but you can get it on the internet, which is international. Andy. So, uh, and it's called Tom Green Live. It's a 90 minute special that we yep. shot in Boston at the Wilbur Theater. And I have a new podcast that we just launched. It's doing really well. It's uh, one of the top comedy podcasts in the world on iTunes. It's called Tom Green Radio, and I interview different comedians and celebrities. I've had people like Andrew Dice Clay and Harland Williams, and uh, Sebastian Bach was on last week. Next week, Jason. Uh, uh, no, who's on next week? Jay, Jay Moore's on next week. Cool. And, uh, all sorts of cool people. Is that is that what you want to do? Is to be given something like a podcast podcast where there's no rules and you can just be Tom Green? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just sort of like that's the way the media is going today, right? Because you know, before there was only three television networks and you had to kind of do what traditionally was considered to be normal on TV. That's why like late night TV is kind of going through a major transition right now and there's so much competition for viewers because you know, it wasn't that long ago on late night television, that was the only place you could see anything weird in yep. the media, you know, late night TV. That was why it was called late night TV. Oh, it's at late at night, they can do weird stuff. And well, now you got the internet, there's so many outlets to see strange comedy. It's sort of a little bit of a dying genre, really, late night TV. So, you know, now with podcasts, every comedian in the world has a podcast. There's so many different, uh, you know, uh, outlets for strange and funny comedy that you can actually just do whatever you want. There's no rules, and that's what's fun about Tom Green Radio. Check it out on iTunes. It's a lot of fun. If you, if you like listening to radio shows, uh, you can basically plug it in in your car. Oh, uh, on your good. phone, listen to it on your phone, yeah. and uh, it's exciting. It's an exciting new time. The brave new world. Even better of than your phone media. and your car would actually be Tom Green tonight. Rumors yeah. Comedy Club. Yeah, you got to get tickets for tonight's show because it is sold out Friday and it is sold out Saturday. All the links are on BreakfastTelevision.ca, including stuff on the podcast, and you can now buy your tickets for Rumors through breakfasttelevision.ca. You'll find the link right there. Very nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Thanks a lot for having me on the Thanks show. For coming back. Great Winnipeg. to be here in Winnipeg. Nice to be here in the spring. It is uh, so nice and uh, balmy outside. Beautiful, isn't it? 
I'm uh, excited to be here in this, this, the beautiful springtime. The birds are chirping this morning. Come back in June. We'll yeah. get some spring then. We'll get yeah, some spring the birds then. Birds right, are chirping out there. Right now, we want to check with our buddy Drew Koza what you can expect this weekend. Here's Drew.